Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday night. It's September 11th, 2016. I am coming to you with an absolute total emergency transmission. We have had multiple copyright claims on our major YouTube channels. We're probably going to be shut down by tomorrow. Thank God we've got 170 plus AM and FM stations and some TV stations around the country that pick us up. Thank God we've got our own video streams and audio streams at InfoWars.com. But this is going to be a big hit. But we have to keep putting this video out no matter what. And I am ready to follow lawsuits this week against the false copyright claims and more to defend free speech. We have total complete fair use, total public interest, a massive election, Doctors being fired from CNN like Dr. Drew that expose her health problems. The majority of doctors in major medical associations will show you the articles saying she's clearly got medical problems and they're covering it up, trying to get her into office to basically put Kane in. That's the word. And you have got an ongoing cover-up. She was in a medical tent on Monday. Just giving you some background before we get the latest footage for collapsing in New York today with a clear seizure on camera. And they're censoring this video. Millie Weaver and our crew in Cleveland, Ohio on Monday she was in a medical tent by an ambulance in the tent. They had a, uh, emergency EMTs in body armor in the little tent she was in. And then she came out and had to stop giving her speech and went back in the tent. I mean, this is all on footage. We have this. No media coverage. Okay. Now, today, it's September 11th. At a memorial uh, in the morning, late morning, she comes out. She collapses in front of someone filming. It takes two Secret Service and her handler that's always there with the pin, the black guy, to get her into the vehicle. She's dragging her feet like this behind her as she goes. Anybody who's seen the footage, it's 100% clear it's done. Even the Washington Post said there's been a cover-up of her medical issues. It's now on the front burner. Here's the problem. I checked ABC News. I checked NBC News. I checked CNN. Paul Watson wrote about it. As of an hour ago... Nobody's showing her collapse. They're saying, oh, she had a little problem with pneumonia or allergies today. That way they can just come out and say we're conspiracy theorists and then delete the video everywhere on the web. That's why this is an emergency situation. Because they are not just censoring InfoWars, okay? They are going out and they are hitting... Hundreds of other people that have uploaded it. You go try to find it. They're taking it down as fast as they can on YouTube because it's got all the censorship stuff in place. Facebook's newer to video. It takes a lot longer for them to remove stuff there. That's why this is going up on Facebook right now. Here's the problem. It's not in HD. Facebook mentions it's not in HD, uh, at least the live streams. We're going to do a produced piece. Michael Zimmerman's going to stay up tonight. So am I with Rob Dew to get an HD on Facebook. But they may shut us down there. And, I've, and look, I'm not a litigious person. I don't want to have to sue. But this is for everybody. You have a right to know. I have a right to know. It's clearly public interest. They're covering it up. She's on a public street, collapses, and then they're going out and taking this video down. I'm a news person. I've done this 21 years. I've had a large company for more than 15 years. I know. We're partners, by the way, with YouTube. Okay? So they, they don't just auto, with bots, take our stuff down. Normally it takes days. And it never even happens because we follow all the rules. This is un precedent in information warfare. And it goes with all the rest of the censorship we're seeing. And the Federal Elections Commission saying, going after Matt Drudge, go after Breitbart. Hillary saying the alt-media, the alt-right doesn't have a right to exist. Hey, I'm a libertarian. I'm a patriot. Call me alt-right all you want. The point is, you people are tyrants. And if the public doesn't get upset about this, we're going to lose everything. That's why this is a total emergency. We are seeing massive censorship. You see it in the news. It's getting so bad. And now she collapses in broad daylight and has to be picked up by three people and drugged into a van. It's like the scene in Scanner Darkly where I get tasered, but, but that's a movie and I get drugged out. I ought to show people that clip. It looks just like this one. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. On the Daily Beast, they said they threw her in the back like a slab of meat. And that is what the uh, off-duty cop was told to a reporter at the Daily Beast. They said and let's she be was clear. thrown in to the back of that car, the back seat like a slab of meat is what his quote was. You can look that up. I saw it. So. And see, but notice none of them will show the video. Though. Right. Yeah. This video has been out for like eight hours. Yeah. Zimmerman, is this blowing you away? Oh, it's, it's absolutely crazy. You know, they just can't hide it anymore at this point. You know, people are going to see this video and 
they can't make excuses like they did for her crazy faces and freaking out at the DNC. And by the way, we're shooting this in the dark yeah. as a metaphor that the press is the little light of truth, of liberty, and they're shutting it down quick, folks. I mean, you turn that light off. You turn that light off. That's it. Can we see anything? No. We can't, folks. And that's what's going on here. Yeah. I mean, this is serious. Dude, and, and thank God. Ever- well, here's the biggest thing, too. They kept the press away from her when they were bringing her out. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest news story. They kept her press, her little captured press, they kept them over in one area. And they're doing this everywhere. The it's, only way it got again, out. Again, the story's the bigger than her. Exactly. Yeah, it, one it's guy about, on the phone got it out. It's That's about it. censorship. That's yeah. what I mean. The Iron Curtain is lowering. Of, right. Start over. I'm sorry. You're well, absolutely right. It's amazing that you see this one guy shooting this video. All right. And he's a, he's a Czech firefighter who goes to 9-11 uh, for, on, the, on the memorials. And he goes, well, I was there and I'm walking down and I see her and I take some photos and she looked fine. Then all of a sudden she starts collapsing. They get her in the car and he's taking video of this and he's even a Hillary Clinton supporter. This isn't some guy with a vendetta or anything. And um, But there's no press there. There's nobody. That's why when uh, the guy from Fox News was talking about it, he was being told that from somebody because the press was kept away from the whole thing. They're being managed. The mainstream media is managing the and whole thing. And that's the secret to this. That's why I'm saying it's not an emergency that just little old Alex and InfoWars is getting censored and we're busting our ass on Sunday night. It's that it's happening to everybody and the press won't show the video eight hours after it's been out. And I'm told DrudgeReport.com has to keep linking to new videos of it because they're taking it down. This is an info war, people. You understand? This is incredible. This is so clearly fair use. Cut and dry Supreme Court hundreds of times. We're going to win on this. But the problem is they don't care anymore. They don't care how many court cases they lose. They just move forward with this criminal operation. Now, this is not HD, but I guess you could save it natively and try to upload it later HD. Mm -hmm. The point is we need to get these copies out to everybody. You need to see the footage. It's on InfoWars.com. We've uploaded another HD copy. Who knows how long that's going to be up? Okay, but let's go ahead and go to some of these videos so people understand. But this is only a sub-story. The fact that their cover-up is imploding and the mainstream media is on such a short leash, as Du said, that they won't even talk about the video. They go, well, a cop says she fell down. They threw her in the back of a truck like meat. <laughs> it's crazy. We, we have the footage of it happening. And, of course, we'll be the conspiracy theorists with Rachel Maddow tomorrow. Oh, they claim they, she fell down. Well, we know. And he says aliens run things and there's wasps under the U.N. I don't say any of that crap. I mean, this is these people are so damn deceptive, folks. They are. I made fun of the, fuck, uh, the folks that talk about lizard people and put a lizard mask on once. And so they say that I believe in it. That's how damn deceptive they are, okay? I mean, these people are sick. And I guarantee you they're going to say this doesn't exist. Unless we get this video out to everybody. And that's what this is, is a test to see what they can get away with. But I think they've jumped the shark. What do you say to the show the video? I think it's totally ridiculous of what, what they're doing. I mean, and look at this. No, There's no press around here. All you see is her guards, and there's her handler. There's the black guy, I think. That's the black yeah, guy. Yeah, the guy with the EpiPen. Yeah, with the EpiPen. And it's just amazing. The way... I'm still blown away that the press was not following her around. Because that's what they do all the time. They, they follow these people around like, you know... Like captured, uh, like like little kennel dogs or something, because that's what that's when they got the one shot of her acting crazy at the coffee shop. They're all surrounding her. They surround her all the time. They're on her plane. Absolutely. Yet here they're not there. That's the big story that they were kept away because they knew she was in this state. And folks, we're they were sh- trying to hide this state from everybody. Exactly. That's what it is. And we're going to show you the video. It's it's up on HD at Infowars.com for now. If you want to see it, but we're going to show you the video. But it's it's better than the video. It's about the censorship that's taking place. So go ahead and show this dude. Yeah. I'm gonna get it as close as I can. Okay, and this won't be HD, but we'll upload it HD soon. It's, it's on InfoWars.com and DrudgeReport.com in HD right now, but they're taking them down. So here it is, okay? There's Hillary. She's already balanced. She's wobbling. She's wobbling. The woman's holding her under the shoulder. Oh, there she is. Boom. Bobblehead, having the seizure. Classic seizure, just like she has in the flashing lights. Boom. Goes down. Feet her back. No. Now we zoom in on it. Could be many strokes too. I mean, my dad's a physician. He's talking to some brain surgeons he knows. That's what they think. I don't know. Pachinik actually knows what she's got, but he can't say it's classified. The word is it's a brain tumor was removed. See, this is blown up. Boom. Feet under her. Dragging the feet. Dragging the feet. Okay, now. I think you can even find a picture of her shoe. She, they left her shoe 
That's what they said. She, well, it was in the news that she yeah. was on the street. Yeah. I mean, her feet are being drugged, folks, which is what happens when you're totally knocked out. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I've even played someone in a major motion picture who's knocked out with Keanu Reeves. Like, I'm not even show you that because people think I'm crazy if I don't show you the clip. So, so there's that. Now, boom, here's our original one. It's been taken down. Okay. And that, here's another one taken down. And it's in our article about the media censoring the video. They pull Paul talking about it. I mean, yeah. this is crazy. So, so we're playing leapfrog here, uh, with this. Let me show you the actual copy of the copyright strike. Shock footage, Hillary faints. This video is no longer available due to copyright claim by Storyful Managed. Hey, sorry guys, we're news on entertainment. We have a right to show this and the public does in is a it, major global election. The name, Storyful Managed. They're managing the story right now. I'll guarantee that's you that's know. a PR firm yeah. that went and They're claimed they bought that right footage right. And, uh, from this poor guy. We're going to find out. Just have fun, guys. We're going to defend the First Amendment. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, but she's with a child, a staged event two hours later. I'm fine. I'm with a child. I'm fine. And then here's the really powerful footage that didn't get any attention. Well, I mean, I got 153,000 views but, and millions on my show, but Millie Weaver, incredible reporter uh, up in Ohio, been doing stuff for us off and off for about four years. She went out there with her husband, her cameraman, did a great job, and they've got the ambulance coming. The media said, oh, there's always ambulances. No, there's not with Trump. But then they have stretchers. They come out. She's 45 minutes in the tent, in the little tent with the stretcher. There's guys in body armor. This is all on tape. And then she goes out and can barely give a speech, has to quit after five minutes. Remember last Monday? And then goes back into the tent, and then two hours later does a press conference on the plane, and has to talk, stop talking after a few minutes. Then comes out and says it's a conspiracy theory, and has to quit again. I mean, remember Monday? But they'll just say it doesn't exist. We're insane. They say Infowars made all this up. We, this has been big news for years since she spent a year in the hospital. And they won't say why. The word is brain tumor, but. Look, let's get back to this, because watch this clip of Millie Weaver talking about this with Leanne McAdoo. To just catch her in case she drops dead at any minute. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was pretty crazy because I'm standing there waiting for Hillary to, you know, come out of her tent. And the event was already running over an hour behind. So I had a feeling that something was wrong that maybe she was sick or having some kind of type of an episode or something. And sure enough, I turn right around and, and there is a gurney and there's, you know, these EMS workers, but they are wearing what looks like bulletproof vests. And, you know, I was like, is this for Hillary Clinton? And sure enough, it was the same EMS workers that my video camera guy actually caught you know, those people, you know, the ambulance that was part of her motorcade, you know, those guys came out of there and it seemed like they tried to wheel around as to, you know, not look too obvious going directly out of her tent or into her tent, but they were staged right behind stage. Right. Waiting in the event that maybe, you know, she might have had something happen or maybe she fainted or fell or, you know, we don't know what could have happened. Oh, there's our reporters predicting everything that's has just happened again. And the word is she's falling down all the time. Now, I want to explain something to everybody. We have, according to YouTube, when they came to us years ago and begged us to be partners with them because I'd never been part of that, we have over 5 billion views total on YouTube right now. They wanted us to make everybody that copies our videos over monetize and claim copyright. We wouldn't do it. But I said, you will let our channel be monetized if you want. Fine. And so let me just show you the about on, on one of our channels. This is even our oldest channel. 894 million views, okay? 1.588 million subscribers. Okay, and that's just one platform we're on, okay? Let me explain something to you. They've already struck two of the videos. One more, the, it's gone. They're going to blow away thousands of videos, like the Millie Weaver video, all this public interest evidence, everything we've done, the journalism we've engaged in, that you've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos a week, tens of thousands. Like, how many videos do we have? Where does it say how many videos we have? Uh, maybe hit videos. Maybe it'll yeah. say. How many videos? Oh, no. it, 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 hundreds it, of thousands. It, it used to say, and I know it's in the tens of thousands. The point is that this affects everybody. We're losing our free speech right now. And of course, we have a right to show you this footage. Because this footage of her collapsing and being drugged into the vehicle, it's over. Let me show you 
where I played this and was you know, taught by EMS and police exactly how to look if I was tasered with a cattle prod for the future movie, you know, Philip K. Dick, futurist uh, dystopia film, Scanner Darkly, A Scanner Darkly. Just type in Alex Jones, A Scanner Darkly. I'm so upset I can't even hardly spell my own name. There it is, top one. No. Okay, but let me show you this. This is what Hillary did. Okay? They'll probably say I can't even show myself in a movie. Where did Substance D come from? Why can't we stop it? The bigger this war gets, the more freedoms we lose, the more Substance D is on our streets. Can't you figure this out? Look around you! Look how far we come! Humanity wasn't meant to live like this! Our every waking moment, trapped and traced and scanned! It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny! It's time to realize that we're being enslaved! Uh-oh, it's our tax dollars at work to take us from ourselves! Hey guys, I used to be one of you! Stop selling out your own species! Look at my feet, dragging me in, see that? It's Hillary! That's Winona Ryder. You scared me. She's a nice girl. Anyways, I was a consultant on that film as well. The point is, it just clicked while we were sitting there watching that, that I've literally, you know, played the part that Hillary's living in the real world with her feet out dragging behind her. So I, I, I thought I'm going to mention, oh, I'm in a movie with Keanu Reeves where I, you know, actually kind of play the part of Hillary. And it sounds nuts. So I thought I'd show you that we're talking about that stuff. Uh, but that's for film night. The point is that this is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. And I need all of you on Facebook right now to realize I'm not sticking my neck out here putting these videos up. I don't care if we get shut down. I care about the whole country getting shut down. I care about them lying about her medical problems. It's in the WikiLeaks that she has Parkinson's medication. She has blood clots. She told the FBI she couldn't remember months and months of stuff that went on. Well, then how is she going to be commander-in-chief? She's disqualified. She's falling down in New York. The media won't cover it. They'll say, oh, police said she fell down, but we're not going to show you the footage. Well, we are. And you need to get the video and download it and copy it and take the video. We're, we're streaming right now that's about to be archived, boom, to Facebook, and send it out to every link you've got, every page you've got, your email, upload it to YouTube, you name it. This is so important. I want to get some final comments from Rob Dew. I know Zimmerman's going to stay up late tonight to put on an HD version of this. Well, I think I think it's most important that people take and make their own copies and put their own videos out because that way they can't silence them. When people search for this, there's going to be a hundred thousand videos, two hundred thousand, a million videos. Well, yeah, they'll so say it doesn't the exist. Thing. They'll say it doesn't right. exist. Right? They're going to come back tomorrow and say, "Look, she came out of the apartment. She's fine." That's it'll never even be that she went to a 9/11 memorial. It'll just be she came out of Chelsea's apartment after having brunch and she was fine. What was all the fuss? And they're going to try to make you think that it never happened. So we have to continue to hit this. And it's just amazing how the mainstream media, you just watch how they've been covering and covering and covering for her. Oh, she's not sick. If you've been looking at it, you're wrong. You're a crazy conspiracy theorist. And now we're showing people the footage. And the mainstream media is not even there to catch it. So they can have plausible den deniability going, well, we never saw it. We didn't get any of this. Absolutely. So, okay, I'm going to show you yep. Drudge real quick, too, because this is important. Great points. And again, we're going to put a shorter version of this up, all in HD. Uh, this is just absolutely essential. Hillary's 9-11. And I guess they had the, oh, he's got the video right there. Hillary faints. Oh, close up, different angle. Good job, Drudge. This is actually just a reverse of the of the footage. Somebody well, just took it and flopped it, which is pretty interesting. Well, yeah, because it'll yeah. give you a better shot. Yeah. Um, uh, Clinton faints as she is rushed out of 9-11 Memorial Secret Service, atypical uh, protocol, overheated video, struggles to walk. No, it's a seizure, folks. Knees buckle, loses shoe, wash post, healthy now, health now initiated, Politico, scare, shakes, race, medical history under microscope. Uh, she embraces child despite pneumonia. Yeah, oh, the man. child. She's fine now, two hours later. Press left in the dark. Look at that. Press left in the dark. Well, yeah, because they're erasing the video. Yeah. Uh, hyperthyroidism, allergies, blood clots. Flashback 2012, Clinton Falls. Boarding plane, the roughest week. I mean, she obviously looks like hell, folks. And they're firing people that talk about it. Let's let's go to this new footage here. This is unbelievable. But oh, it's pneumonia. That's why she fell down. But oh, everyone's saying she's sick or kooks. He rarely is that 
Ima imagine how discredited they are that have been demonizing us and saying we're the ones that launched the story. Of course we didn't. It was common sense, the public, and Drudge. I mean, Drudge gets the credit, but, but look, I love the fact that they blame me and now I get the credit. Look, look. <laughs> I feel sorry for Hillary, but I tell you, these people, I mean, I mean, their time is absolutely running out. She looks like a bobblehead. I mean, she's like, and it's like, yeah. I mean, like, oh God, dead weight. Three people can barely get her into the deal. It's, it's like, literally weekend at Bernie's, literally. I mean, we were making jokes about it before, but that is the embodiment of it right there. Let's, let's play it one more time. Ben Garrison got it. Drudge needs to know they're censoring this video. I'm sure he knows. That's why they've been putting different ones up. Oh, Hillary Clinton threatens war on Russia. That's our video. Suggested. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Zimmerman, you got anything to add here? I think it's interesting. You know, you have all these mainstream media people like Jimmy Kimmel making a joke of her health, you know, over the past couple of weeks, making a joke with the whole pickle jar thing. And, and now you have videos like this come out, and she's just... She's passed it's out. She's being drugged by yeah. It's biblical yeah. how everything's going against them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't stop it. And the guy who shot the video is a Hillary supporter. That's even more ironic. He's an admitted yeah. Hillary supporter. And, and we've seen Trump at some of these events speaking out on a, a tarmac. It's over 100 degrees outside. You've been probably, there. Explain that. I've, I've been there. It's probably uh, in Redding, California. It was 103 that day. Joe Biggs and I, you know, we're not exactly weak people, but, you know, we were just, it was killing us out there trying to, there's no shade at all. Trump comes out there, probably 110 degrees on this tarmac, wearing a full, you know, suit, and coat, and everything. Body armor. Yeah. Oh yeah, body armor too. And he speaks for about an hour. He's not passing out. It, it was, I think, 82 degrees. They said at Ground Zero today. That was later than it was, like 78 when she talked. Yeah, and Hillary's there, basically dying. You know, they're having to drag her off. So. In her pants suit. <laughs> In her pants suit. So. Well, here's the final point. The big question is, what are they going to do? I mean, did they think they could just get her into office and that she could cover up for all their past crimes with more pardons? You know, that's her plan to fail forward or fail upward. Or is it Cain, this horrible globalist, uh, New World Order, you know, minion of the Jesuit Pope? I mean, admittedly, I'm talking about the Jesuit Pope taking America over. This is scary stuff. Already taken over the Catholic Church. Uh, is it uh, something else? It... it, it Will they cancel the election? I've seen all these weird articles you never see in like Politico and The Hill and The New York Times the last month going, what if one of the candidates dies or is sick? Well, then we will just suspend the election for a while. And I'm like, what? What? So they're like floating this now. And then maybe Larry Nichols is right that this is all a shill thing, a weird way to cancel the election or something. I don't know. Th th this is so crazy. These times are so wild. I don't know anymore. All I know is we're being lied to systematically. But I'll say this. If she's faking being sick, she deserves an Oscar. She looks worse by the week. She looks like she's a cancer patient. I mean, I, I don't want to feel sorry for her, but my God, I mean, she looks like hell. And I don't think this is fake. Uh, I just think this is biblical. Um, we're going to Post this right now on InfoWars, Present Planet, Facebook. Please get it out. Please copy it. And please get the word to Drudge and everybody else uh, that, that that we're being censored. And our entire channel may be shut down tomorrow. Uh, they've already taken two of our videos down and one more, and that's it. So um, come to InfoWars.com. Oh, yeah, InfoWars.com forward slash show. I'm always telling you about that. People say, why don't you have your own internet thing if you're getting censored? We have PrisonPlanet.tv, we have InfoWars.com forward slash show, hundreds of thousands every day just watch our video streams, millions tune into the audio streams, it, it almost bankrupts us having to pay for all this bandwidth. We need YouTube, we need Facebook, we need third party partners, we follow all the damn rules. We're just Americans that want free speech and lower property taxes and national sovereignty and we're not out to get the family and, and you know, we, we're for self defense, I mean we're just good old fashioned liberal Americans. And now you have these fascists that call themselves liberals allied with the Republicans that are screwing us all over. You need to go to InfoWars.com forward slash show and spread that link because um, I try to diversify across a lot of different platforms. We've been censored a lot over the years. But uh, they take us out off YouTube. That'll, that'll, you know, that'll be a big ding. But, uh, you know, it, it's just all part of the climate we're in. Matt Drudge came to my office last year. He met with the Supreme Court justice and others. They said 2016 they're going to start the censorship. And it's happening everywhere, folks. Uh, October 1st, the, the Internet gets handed over to the U.N. I mean, you cannot make this up. So let me just show you InfoWars.com in closing, because I keep going over this. I just hope people listen to me. InfoWars.com.
it's not even hot in here, but I'm sweating because this is just so upsetting. Infowars.com. See radio show right up here at the top tab. You got watch and you, you go to this page. It's Infowars.com forward slash show. And you'll have the feed from the latest radio show, TV show today, 4 to 6 p.m. That's going. And you've got links to all the other channels and podcasts and uh, iPhone and uh, other apps that are there on the site. But the Windows Media Podcast, listen now. I really want to make this page where it's, it's about the iPhone and Droid app. That was always my biggest push. There it is. There's the free Apple app, the free Google Play app, and a bunch of others. Uh, and we're about to launch a new, actually in the next week and a half, a new huge free app that's more high-tech and new. But, you know, these are decent. And we're doing our best here. So whether you agree with us or not, they are starting to censor. And this is serious. And I'm up here sweating bullets on Sunday night because this is epic to see this happening and to see our stuff getting shut down because we dare show it and then give commentary. We're bulletproof. That's how you're able to show clips of movies, able to show ads, able to show politicians, able to show critique stuff because we're news. Under the First Amendment, it is covered. My God, our audience is bigger than CNN's now. I mean, they're a joke. CNN's collapsing. But, oh, there's CNN. They can show anybody's clip they want. But, oh, we can't because, you know, we're just a small team that works seven days a week and reaches more people. The facade is coming down. They're desperate to hold it up. This is history happening. We realize it. They think we're so unconscious and so stupid. They can just steal the public's future away from them in front of everybody. It's not going to happen. Infowars.com forward slash show. Infowars.com forward slash show. When they try to censor us, we got to teach them a lesson. When they try to censor us, we've got to stand up to them and let them know that we're not going to back down. Every time they push, we're going to push back harder. Uh, I want to thank you guys for working so late tonight. Let's go get to the office. Let's get these videos out in HD. Let's fight hard, and I'll see everybody tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, for the syndicated radio slash TV show, Infowars.com forward slash show. Let's get to work, man.